Hey Taurus, welcome to your WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by. Info about my personal readings and everything else about this channel. If you want to connect with me via socials, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, the links are in the description box below. So if you want to email me personal readings in the description box. Um, or you can visit my website, nomadsoulwarrior.com. To all my new viewers, welcome. All right, Taurus, let's get on with your reading. Taurus for the week, messages, what do we have today? One more. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter, in love. The Seven of Coins. The Page of Wands. Eight of Coins. The Star. The Page of Swords. And the King of Coins. The Strength. The Five of Cups, the Queen of Swords, wow, the Knight of Swords. I think, Taurus, this is something that you would truly, truly appreciate. Eight of Swords and the Ace of Coins, the Five of Coins, okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands, okay. Okay, so an energy here, the situation, I feel that um, there is someone who is kind of at a crossroads right now. Yeah, and I feel that this is you, crossroads as to um, whether are you still going to be, or whether would you be able to work out a situation, a, a disagreement, a misalignment of ideas with someone that you are connecting with or you will just leave this behind because apparently i feel that this is obviously this is a love connection reading um with the person that you're thinking about it feels like you have been waiting yeah waiting for a decision to be made or waiting for somebody to come forward and speak their truth and and be honest towards you you know um give you the explanations or some additional insights as to what you're you're asking them it feels like you have been waiting and this is pertaining to a relationship a connection a commitment that you have already worked out or put in a lot of effort into in building so for some of you this could very well be about a connection that has been going on for quite a while yeah whether you have verbally is spoken to one another that you are exclusive or not that's a different that's another um, thing but the connection you know and you can feel that it's existing yeah and um for some reason yeah i feel that you have grown to love this person as well of the lovers you you've built that connection and along the process you have grown to fall fall in love with this person and given all the the possibilities you would want to have a rather long-term um you know life or long-term commitment with this person that we're seeing here but apparently it feels like there's been some there's something that has happened pretty recently or something that has happened in this connection where something in the past where it has led someone to feel um, disappointed um, for some regretful so you could be disappointed this person could be regretful for what they have done yeah that has led you both to this indifference perhaps both of you are not even together right now 
yeah both of you feels like feel like um, the other person do not need the other in their life so yeah there's been a breakup probably a separation or just not being in contact physically with one another but in terms of energetic i feel that for you taurus you want to keep on working on this or if there is a chance to make this right to make things work for both of you you would want that yeah and you're not rushing but you're you're you're, you're feeling as though if it is not going to happen today okay you will concentrate on whatever is uh, within your control right now it could be your your business your work your your own career but with regards to this connection you are not totally closing your door the person that you're dealing with on the other hand if you are communicating with them you could see that they are open for um conversation yes uh pretty minimal maybe you are not really seeing everything that um they want or they want to tell you at that instance um the way they are portraying to you is that they are open they are um you know the way they portray to you is that this page energy in communication yeah they may respond to you but all with let's just say honesty if they are having fun with you because they they honestly want to have fun with you in in con conversation in texting and all but you know what deep inside what this person wants to is to be able to um build something together with you taurus so it's it feels like both of you may have been separated yeah but coming into this reading both of you do have that intention to see um or to uh desire long-term commitment with one another yeah um you may sense that this person would try to have fun a little bit here and there but due to the fact that they have done something wrong in the past or vice versa they may not be able to bring in a lot of that light-hearted energy which is a little bit different because if if you are sort of reconciling with one another you need to spark off that um um chemistry you know the uh, light-heartedness so i feel that your person wants that wants to have a kind of a restart of the um, dynamic even in your commu communication or your conversation in order for them to to show you that if it did not work in the past, this time they have sort of that kingly desire on the type of effort that they want to put in. Now, um, they're still regretting about what they have done in the past, literally, or for things whereby it did not work out with both of you. It could be that they did something wrong or you did them wrong. There is still that... Um, hurt and possibly bitterness yeah and um but not so much of a negative space in terms of bitterness it's more like hurt you know if somebody has been hurt has been betrayed of course every now and then that feeling is still there and possibly that's the reason why somebody here is not really able to come forward full-blown yeah with this new energy to reconcile because of that somebody is still kind of thinking of the mistakes that has been done in the past perhaps it would have been better yeah if um, apology would come first but you know it may not have been um, presented in the recent um, even up to now yeah but the way i see it here is more about there's going to be that um, opening yeah somebody will come forward and communicate straightforward honestly and speak their truth and this could also talk about somebody who would um, give a sort of explanation or just clarity as to what has truly transpired in the past why things did not work out and somebody would want to um, talk about it and have that closure of the past cycle in order for you because that past cycle that hasn't been closed be between the two of you is causing causing you both to be stuck in that situation so the way i see it here is somebody would come forward yeah and um speak their truth open up and 
tell you what they feel, what they think as of today based on what has happened in the past. And what do you think in return? What do you say in return? They want that conversation. And with that, actually could give you that new sense of new beginning in this connection. When the, um, the cloudiness of the past has been given clarity, then it's a lot easier for both of you to move forward in a new direction. Okay? Taurus, I'm going to leave it at that. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and um, click on that notification bell. And let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. If it doesn't, you can check out your other placements and uh, check out those other science readings in my channel. Bye, Taurus.